All right, uh, let's bring the menu from the right side and click on settings, then head down to change PC settings. Look for updates and recovery in the bottom and then recovery. Then choose the second option. Okay, we need uh, to click on next. Uh, there is the option of wiping only the files or just wiping the full computer. It's good for reselling the computer or uh, giving it to somebody uh, with no data and information left behind and then click on reset. And it's look like the computer is restarting. from now on we need to make sure that the computer is plugged in to a power outlet it's not a good idea to use the battery for the laptop while it's installing because that could break the computer's uh, software and here we go like the process is starting this might take several hours Roughly, it took me about three hours from start to finish. I'm very happy with what Microsoft did mostly. Uh, this process seems to be very easy and fluid. It just takes too much time. And the other thing is that if your hard drive is burned or broken, uh, this process would be different where you will have to use a DVD instead. I'm fast forwarding this video so it doesn't take as long and it's look like it's almost getting done. Alright, so it's look like it's asking for the region and language. Everything look uh, good except time zone, where I should uh, change it to my time zone. Then next. Okay, you could agree uh, on the terms. If you have your manufacturer email, you can just enter it in there. I don't have one and just uh, skip that. And this is my favorite part where I get to choose the color that I like uh, in my windows. Uh, I might choose uh, red or maybe this red. And then you enter your uh, computer name. It's easier to name your uh, computer something that you can remember. And then connect to your Wi-Fi. It will ask you for a setting up your computer. I'm just going to use an express settings, but you can customize it to your liking if you want. Okay, so it's asked me for Windows accounts. If you have a Windows account, just go ahead and put it. If not, just create a new one. And then OneDrive, if you want that, I think I'm going to use it. If not, you can just turn it off there for pictures and documents and PC settings. It's kind of useful. I'm just going to click on next. And now the computer will set up all my uh, choices. And this process takes uh, some time too. It might take you around 20 minutes and I'm going to fast forward this again. Okay, once it's done, uh, you will see uh, your computer um, desktop screen. 
hope uh, this video was uh, useful uh, please subscribe that helped me a lot making more of these video and bye